cool region aesthetic theory the biographia literaria in which he proposes his aesthetic theory number three is a freudian interpretation because it deals with dreams and number four is the jungian uh, the interpretation which uh, relates to uh, jung now let's come to the first in interpretation which is the poem about poetic process uh, what is Kubla Khan about if we uh, go on trying to um, sort of deconstruct it uh, then um, well one theory is that Kubla Khan who is supposedly the Mongol warrior Kublai, uh, uh, Kublai Chan um, uh, you know sort of related to that uh, horrible Mongol cruel um, you know warlord called Chengiz Khan uh, whatever that Kubla Khan who uh, orders this pleasure dome at Zanadu to be uh, constructed and um, as the ancestral voices deep within him uh, sort of warns him that uh, maybe the, this attempt is uh, is a very vulnerable attempt what he's trying to do is not born out of the true creative process but it is an artificial man-made imposition on nature um, that you see time is very limited this needs a lot of explanation but let me go on to the next interpretation which is uh, the exemplification of aspects of the Coleridgean aesthetic theory uh, according to some accounts, Xanadu is paradise regained and Kubla Khan well symbolizes the creative artist who gives concrete expression to the ideal forms of truth and beauty. Now, once again, this also needs to be explained in detail. What I'm going to do is send you a PDF file with greater explanation. So, um... You see, the question here is that, is it a prophecy or a poetic triumph? This is something which needs to be uh, discussed in detail. Very shortly, 